Okay, so today it's passive with lots of different tenses. We have present simple, present continuous, past simple, past continuous, present perfect simple, present perfect continuous, past perfect simple, past perfect continuous, which you'll notice are all past and present tenses. Future in English is just will or going to. Um, there are a couple of other tenses, but we're not going to worry about those today. I want to look at active and passive forms for each tense. So active for present simple is I do or he does. Remember we use present simple for every day, every week, regular, repeated actions. I do my homework every Sunday. Okay? In passive, it would be my homework is done on Sundays. My homework is done. So perhaps let's make it a bit clearer. Put that in the examples part. So, um, is or are plus third form is done. My homework is done on Sundays by me. Please don't forget by. It's a very important word in passive. It tells you the agent, the person who did the action. So I do my homework on Sundays. My homework is done by me on Sundays. Okay, now we have present continuous, which you should know is I am doing, he is doing. Um, that's the active form, I am. And we use this tense for things which are happening right now. I am teaching you, you are learning English, you are listening to me, maybe some of you are writing. Um, this is the active form. But if we want to use passive, we use is or are, sorry, let's make that clear, or am as well if it's I, um, plus being, plus a third form. Okay, so let's give you some examples over here. I didn't write the first one. My homework is done on Sundays. That's part present simple. My homework is done every Sunday. And in present continuous, we would say, um, this lesson is being taught by me. This lesson is being taught is being taught, third form of teach, teach, taught, taught. This lesson is being taught by me. Okay? Past simple would be did. I did, he did, they did. And in passive, we just have was or were plus third form. Okay? For example, this house was built by my grandfather, okay? This house was built. Or these lessons were taught by the teacher. Was built, okay? Were for plural. If, you, if there is a plural uh, here, the students were taught um, anything, but the students were taught differentiation and integration in mathematics class, okay? So, were for if there's a plural here. Okay, remember past simple is for when, when we talk about the past, discrete simple moments, finished moments in the past. Past continuous, was or were doing, is used for unfinished past moments. For example, um, it was raining when I arrived at work. Yeah, the rain wasn't finished. It was in the middle of raining when I arrived at work. So it was raining when I arrived at work or I was driving at 100 miles per hour when I had an accident. I was driving. It wasn't finished. It was in the middle of the process. Okay, so in passive form with past continuous, it's was or were, being, and the third form. So, on my way to work this morning, the road was being repaired. The road was being repaired. They were repairing the road, but the road was being repaired. Okay? 
Um, present perfect simple now. Remember we use present perfect simple for um, past actions with present results. For example, I have done my homework. I have done my homework. So have or has done. He has done his homework. Use has for he or she. However, if in passive, we it's fairly logical. All of these passive forms are logical. Have or has been, not being, being, plus third form. So a very common situation when you use this is marriage. I have been married for three years. Yeah, I have been married for three years. I am still married. That's why we use present perfect, but I have been married for three years. Now the next one, present perfect continuous, I hope you all remember, it's have or has been doing. We use it when we want to, it's very similar to present perfect simple, but we use simple for stative verbs, we use continuous for non-stative verbs, especially when we're emphasising duration, not result. So I have been living in England for two years. Um, he has been working in this company for three months, okay? So there is no passive form with present perfect continuous and there's no passive form with past perfect continuous either. So we'll put that in crosses as well. There's no passive form. You can't put it in passive. Don't even try. Past perfect simple had plus third form done, had done. Well, it's a bit like present perfect <laughs> passive. Past perfect passive would be had, been, done. Remember we use this tense for when we're telling a story. We usually use past simple moments and we say, I woke up, I went to work, and then I found out that I had forgotten my keys. Had forgotten was earlier, okay? So we go back in time before past simple. Um, so if we have an example over here for passive, um, uh, perhaps we'll use the have been married. When, when I met them, they had been married. They had been married for 10 years. Yeah. At that moment when I met them, the previous 10 years, we go before that moment, the previous 10 years they had been married. Okay, um, now on to will. Will is a modal verb. Maybe some of you know this, maybe some of you don't. Will is actually a modal verb. Um, you can't say he wills, she wills, and there is no infinitive. Um, so, will, we use will. Will is always plus infinitive. Will be and the third form will be done. My homework will be done later. Yeah, something like this. Or he will be um, pleased. He will be pleased to see you. He will be pleased to see you. This is actually a third form of the verb to please someone. So he will be pleased to see you. You could think of it as an adjective and just as a will be plus adjective, but it's a third form of a verb too. Um, okay, so will be done, going to be done. You probably guessed this. Going to be done is the one here. Infinitive now. Some verbs take infinitive and some verbs take gerund. Um, so, he, if we're talking about a criminal, um, he wants to be to be interrogated. Interrogated means questioned, and you can use that word also. The criminal wants to be questioned, wants to be interrogated um, later. <laughs> Any word here, or by a man, by a woman, it doesn't matter, but he wants to be questioned. So we notice we have two plus infinitive, just use to, be, and then the third form. What you would expect, really, I think it's very logical, this. He wants to be questioned later. 
This is two plus infinitive passive. Okay, and any other verb like want, which takes two plus infinitive, if you put that part into passive, it will be to be, okay? He would like to be questioned later. He would like to be rewarded for his actions. Maybe someone has done something good and he would like to be rewarded for his actions or he would like to be thanked for his actions. Okay, so that's infinitive and passive. Last one is gemmed. Um, I like this example. I don't like... Now, like, I hope you remember, is a gerund verb, being kissed by men with moustaches. It's true. Okay, so we use like plus gerund, being, and then we use the third form, kissed. I don't like being kissed by men with moustaches. I found that in a, in a book. It's not my example. Okay, thanks for watching. I remind you that this is for a Facebook group, a good group which um, shares a lot of English resources. That's Learn English as Easy as Pi, and the URL is below. And VK.com, if you're on VK.com, VK try English with Pleasure, another uh, great group for sharing English resources. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them under the video, and I'll be happy to answer them. I hope this makes passive clear. Please don't forget bye. It's a very useful word if you're going to use passive. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed this lesson and would like to receive more over the next few weeks. Uh, here are some videos on phrasal verbs, auxiliary verbs, tenses, and verb forms as well, like gerunds and two plus infinitive. Um, please watch them and try the quizzes below the videos, and uh, I hope that you improve.